Welcome to a new vault log. This is the annual review to present some stats on the number of orders and spending with regards to my activity. My in the mail series is quite popular so as you can imagine behind the scenes there is quite a bit of spending with the items shown in those videos. Before I show you the stats I have to mention the past year I was lucky to get financial support for the channel from Patreon. There are a bunch of good people showing their support there so Thank you to all of my patrons. I also got support from the uh, main channel sponsor PCBWay.com and this helps a lot with the mailbag videos because as you'll see in a moment it does cost a fair bit to place all of these orders. Make sure you check out the sponsor page PCBWay.com which is linked in the description below. They have excellent pricing and quality on PCB services so I do recommend you check them out. This year I'm not going to show any stats for eBay, I have stopped using eBay, I do most of my orders on AliExpress.com starting with 2020 and I also place a few orders on Banggood.com, in fact I've also stopped placing links to eBay items in my mailbag videos because I don't really use the platform anymore so I don't really see the purpose of linking to something which I don't use. So I'm gonna start with the Banggood stats. I've placed 24 orders in total for 2020 with a total value of $408. So it's mostly small stuff, things that I want to deliver faster and so I opted for Banggood uh, for fast delivery within the EU. And these stats do not include the various products that Banggood have offered for free over the course of the year. Out of these I had one order which did not arrive and I had to get a refund. And this was happening in March when the global shipping uh, crisis madness had started. But other than that, everything was fine. Next up, AliExpress.com stats. And here is where I do most of my spending. And I had a total of 417 orders placed in 2020 on this platform, spending a total of uh, $2,632. I had a number of 25 orders which never arrived and I don't remember the stats from last year on uh, these uh, not arrived orders but I'm pretty sure this number doubled to say the least in 2020 and this I believe can be attributed to the uh, global shipping crisis which caused some of these packages to get returned to the uh, sender, uh, prices for shipping increased overnight and so some of the sellers must have preferred to you know cancel uh, the order instead of shipping them uh, at a loss. And I don't know maybe uh, a small portion of these really got lost in transit. The average order value uh, for 2020 on AliExpress.com was $6.31, which tells me that I generally buy cheap stuff on AliExpress. Here is a graph with the distribution of these orders and the spending amount for each month. The busiest month for me was May when I placed 70 orders. We were in full lockdown during that time here in Romania. So uh, you could say that I had a lot of free time to browse on the platform which caused a spike in the number of orders I placed. August and September uh, shows a dip in the number of orders mainly because I took some time off and uh, uh, I got a bit disconnected in a vacation away from uh, uh, computers and the internet basically off the grid. Once again if you guys have stats like these it would be interesting to share and compare them in the comments below. Now we're off to a, a new year. I hope 2021 is going to be a great year. Myself, I plan to work on a bunch of cool new projects for this year. Uh, here's a sneak preview. These are just some of the boards for the uh, projects that I am preparing for the first quarter of 2021. And my personal goal for this year is to publish as many new projects as possible. And uh, I think we're going to be uh, having a great start uh, as I already have a few of these projects in the pipeline. I have also started a, a Tindy store which will be linked in the description below. I encourage you to check it out. I will be selling some of my past and the future projects in limited quantities on my Tindy store. I will continue to discover and show you new and interesting electronics modules uh, in my future mailbag videos. And if you're interested in uh, checking out some of my uh, previous mailbag videos, I will link on screen right now a playlist which contains close to 100 of my uh, mailbag videos. Thank you for your continued support. As always, I would appreciate if you would smash that like button and I will see you next time with a new video.